On this week's episode, I'm going to show you how to build a Fender style head cabinet from scratch. Let's start with a piece of lumber that's not cupped, warped, and has relatively few knots. First things first, I'll true it up on the table saw. I'll get a true edge. Then I'll cut my pieces to length. Once the pieces are cut to length, turn off the power supply, swap out to a box joint dado blade. You're going to need a finger joint jig. I recommend you follow the instructions that come with your finger joint jig. I'm not going to get into how that works here, but look at the instruction manual. Make sure you cut your finger joints correctly. Here's a trick that'll save you some time and make sure your project comes out well. You're gonna go ahead and cut the piece of wood for the front grill that's gonna be covered in grill cloth. Now the trick is to cut this piece so that it will fit the box snugly all the way side to side and top to bottom. That way you can use it when you put your clamps together. You can slide that piece in there and make sure your box is perfectly square. I use tight bond premium glue in the finger joints Once the box is square, you can let it dry. Now it's time to take a break. Come back in about 30 minutes, you'll be able to unclamp it and then use a belt sander to smooth any of the finger joint edges if there are any that are standing proud.
Now it's time to take your table saw blade to the highest level and start to angle it to match the angle of the front faceplate of your chassis. Once you've matched that angle, you're gonna to need to measure from the back to get where your front edge leads to. I like to use a belt sander and make sure I level off any pieces of the finger joints that may be proud. Once you've cut the angled part, then it's time to break out the router with the roundover bit. I like to do the top all the way around, then the bottom all the way around, and then catch the side. After the roundover bit, it's time to add some wood filler. In the box joints and any place there's a divot or imperfection.
When I cut the back panel, I'll draw everything out and I'll use a skinny blade to do these radius curves and then I'll use a wide blade to do these long straight cuts. I'm gonna tack in the support pieces for the front grille and the support pieces for the back panel. Make sure you don't put the nails in the place where you're gonna run a screw through. Then I'll drill my holes in the top of the box for the chassis. Now there will be chassis straps on this box, so covering these holes. So it's okay to make these holes a little bit bigger so that you have a little bit of wiggle room because the entire chassis is gonna be, need to be set so that the edge of the face plate matches up with the front edge of the grill insert in the front. Then I like to drill from the top through the front into the supports for the front grille. Once I'm done with that, it's time to paint with a flat. You can use enamel or latex, but I like to use a flat black. I use uh, enamel. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to cover it in Tolex and put grill cloth on it. And we'll move on. Thanks for watching.